Hi and welcome to Zilla Cabs. In this video we've chosen a key speaker and mixed it with 21 other speakers so you can hear how it sounds combined with other speakers. If you like what you see and hear please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the notification icon and please feel free to leave us a comment and hit the like button. Here we go. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification icon. Let us know your thoughts on the speakers, which ones you prefer, and if you've got any experience of them. So what you have here is a key speaker mixed with 21 other speakers. The reason we did this is so that you can hear how it combines with a second speaker mixed in a 2x12 cabinet. The ability to hear how a second speaker will combine with your first choice speaker is something that's quite useful when you're looking to blend tones. At Zilla we've been mixing speakers for years but demonstrations like this can always throw up a few surprises which makes things more interesting. Now to talk about the pros and cons of using this method. The first would be that we recorded each speaker individually in a fat baby 1x12 so you're not going to hear the interaction between the two speakers themselves. This does affect the sound slightly but it helps reduce certain inconsistencies in switching so many speakers. Now as we all know each speaker has a slightly different sensitivity rating. This effectively means that some speakers are slightly louder than others when hearing them. In these recordings we balanced every speaker so that the difference in volume wouldn't make certain speaker combinations sound more exciting purely by the increase in volume. This doesn't give a true representation of how the two speakers will sound in a 2x12 cabinet but it gives a close approximation. In comparison videos like this, it is important to point out that the differences between each pair of speakers is a little more subtle because you're hearing one of the same speakers every time. Later on in the video, we've added a small section where you can hear the second speaker directly against the first speaker so you can hear how each speaker individually affects the tone. Now regarding the recording process itself, we reamped a guitar track from the computer. This allowed us to capture the same performance every time, meaning that the only difference you hear is the speaker itself. For this recording we used a 100 watt Marshall JMP, a tall G12 microphone, a 
Fat Baby 1x12 speaker cabinet, which is closed back, and a PRS Custom 22. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you.